안녕하세요. I am Dhanisha Guru and today I am going to cook a h e t a n g o which is Korean hangover soup. And the special point about this soup is that it does not only cure the hangovers and headaches but can also be made with any of the generally available ingredients at a home. Now, before getting to the recipe, let me tell you a small fact about h e t a n g o During Johnson Dynasty era, whenever royal banquets were held, After the banquet, all the noble men were sent h e j a n g k o k as a token of thanks as well as for various political reasons. The recipe is adjusted according to the Indian palate and is a vegetarian version of the original. Here I have taken around 4 cups of water. Now add in the sesame seeds, mushrooms, Roughly break the spring onions and add them. Finally add in the chilli flakes. Give it a nice stir. Cover it and let it boil for 10 minutes. The broth has been boiling for 10 minutes. So now we will add in our cabbage and let them plant for about a minute. Now we will take out our cabbage and leave the broth to simmer on a low heat. While the broth is simmering, let's make the sauce for the soup. First, add in a spoonful of d u e n c h a n g or fermented soya bean paste. Lots of gochugaru as the color of the soup will be because of this. Mirin, this is homemade mirin and I have mentioned how to make it in the ingredient list. Soya sauce and some sesame oil. Give it a nice mix and your sauce will be ready. Now we will marinate mushrooms in the prepared sauce. I have taken mushrooms instead of meat as this is a vegetarian version of the original. Give it a nice mix and transfer it to another bowl. We will also marinate our cabbage and let both of them sit for about 5 minutes. Heat the pan, add some sesame oil and now we will stir fry the marinated mushrooms until they are nice and crisp. Then add in some sliced radish and fry them for about a minute or two and transfer them to a bowl. The broth has been simmering for a while and I have strained the veggies out of it. Now we will add in our uh, stir fried uh, mushroom and radish uh, along with our marinated cabbage uh, to the broth uh, and let it boil uh, for about 10 minutes. The broth has been boiling for 10 minutes. Now we will add in our uh, green onion greens uh, and some sprouts. I have substituted the soya bean sprouts uh, with the lentil sprouts uh, since the soya bean sprouts are not available. Now give it a nice mix, cover it and let them boil for another 10 to 15 minutes. So now our soup has been boiling for about 10 minutes and it's ready to be served. Now let's make some quick side dishes that go well with our h e j a n g o k First take crumbled tofu, add in all purpose flour, some chopped green chilies, A spoonful of t u e n c h a n g a spoonful of gochujang, add water and combine them to form a dough. With the help of our hands, we will create small pancakes out of the dough we made earlier. Then in a pan, we will fry them until they are golden brown from both the sides. Now let's mix the gumchi namul which is Korean spinach side dish. I have already branched the spinach for about 30 seconds in salt water. Let's add in some garlic, green onions, 1.5 tablespoon of soy sauce and some sesame oil. Mix them well then add in sesame seeds and it's ready.